I would like to invite you to my journey with art. Welcome. My name is Erin Callahan Bloom. When the bell rang to go home at the end of a grade school day, you may have walked to piano lessons, the baseball field, the park, home. I followed the sidewalk to an artist's home once a week. She demonstrated how to paint still lives in oils to children while we watched. Then we all painted on canvas with our own oils the remaining time. When she moved, my parents found another artist who taught from home, and they enrolled me in some evening studio classes at the local colleges. I realize now that being one of six children, they found ways to enrich each of our childhood interests. After childhood, however, my artistic path shifted. As a commercial artist, I found myself using watercolor to complete renderings. I enjoyed designing and then seeing my work in print. To this day, it's my desire to share my images with others, but with a different process called gicle printing, using paper that absorbs archival inks and matches my original. I hire an expert printer to execute each one individually. So, while working, I enrolled in evening classes to learn even more about watercolor. It all fit in until my husband and I were blessed with our first baby. But watercolors dry fast and take little space. Cottage Flowers was painted while our family visited a family cottage and filled vases with wild Wisconsin flowers. Notice the negative spaces that create the shapes. Where you see white, you are actually seeing the paper. Like many watercolors, I don't use white paint, but carefully avoid painting over the paper, as we like to say, save the whites. As our family grew, they became part of art lessons, which I taught in our basement to children after school. Those classes centered on how to draw and use charcoal and pastel. Finally, if you can imagine, I had a sidewalk leading to my home for a new generation of artists. That journey is still going on. Painting a clothed model from life is a class I've been doing with local high schoolers at the Cedarburg Art Museum. Sometimes a sketch will inspire me to expand that idea into a painting. Other times I'll steal part of a photo from a family vacation or have family members or others pose for me. I do admire Mary White, Nita Engel, Keiko Tanabe, among other contemporary watercolor artists. At the same time, I study work by oil painters such as Mary Cassatt, Sargent, Soroya, Rembrandt, and others. Workshops, reading, watching others help me in continuing my education. Our house has always been my studio and thus my home gallery, literally. You might find an easel set up most anywhere the light is good. Or my kitchen, dining room, or lower level table may be scattered with ideas with my next painting being developed. For oils, I throw a large canvas tarp down, open a door, turn on a fan, and begin. Sometimes I'll set up in my yard or move into the open garage if raining. I teach two to five week workshops at various locations and most often to adults. You don't have to be a member to enroll and adults of any age can sign up. There's a price break if you're a member, depending on the location. I change the topic with each new session, encouraging people to use their own photos, ask a friend or family member permission to use one of theirs, or go to a site offering free photos with the copyright lifted. Many people don't realize that a photo or a painting, whether on social media or a publication, is intellectual property till 70 years after the creator's death, and sometimes more. To be safe, simply search free images and pictures. 
In a session called Painting Crystal, I demonstrated then guided students in painting their own glass or crystal object. Flowers and watercolor involved learning how light next to dark values visually creates folds and depths. Painting silver and gold help us to explore reflections. So there were three sessions, three different types of classes in order to complete this painting. I love to launch new people into a world of color and all the components of a painting, including drawing from beginning to end. So much learning happens in a room of new and more advanced students when they question what I'm doing as I demonstrate how I'm going to approach and work through my subject. Some groups ask me not to stop demonstrating, but I want them to use the second part of a class to apply what they've picked up. In the future, I might give a demo the entire time, but I would be, have to market it as such. I chose this subject in honor of our veterans in a session on teaching painting ribbons and flags. I challenge my students, new and otherwise, to find their own subject that fits into my theme for the class. Then, with the connection already there, emotion follows as their own story is told. We work on values to create drama. This little value study was painted first to become my reminder of where my darkest darks and lightest lights would be in flags at Veterans Park. We all like a good challenge, right? When I became an empty nester, I dug out, replenished my oils, and dove into plein air painting, choosing either watercolor or oil to express my subject. I took it all along, packed it into my car. Plein air is a French term meaning painting outdoors. Today in the United States and beyond, there are many plein air art, art events with competitions and sales of original art painted within a designated area and in a designated time. The old Victorian or Cedarburg Art Museum was started during a very early morning Channel 6 filming of the Cedarburg Plein Air. I began with tiny pencil black and white sketches, then chose one and enlarged it right there on my canvas with a simple grid method and brush. I would like to propose that when an original piece of art is painted, it's more than an object. It's from the soul of that artist. It's their mind, their heart, their learning, together with an energy and need to express what they feel. Many say that when they view an original, even own it, they feel a spiritual connection to it. To learn about my shows and exhibits and see more of my work, sign up for emails on classes through my contact page. Please visit my website, erinkellahanbloom.com, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook and Instagram. What was your path to enjoying art? What is it now?